Unraveling the magic of passive voice in past continuous tense. Hello, English learners. Today, we are diving into a fascinating subject. Passive voice in past continuous tense. More specifically, we'll uncover how to change active voice to passive voice in this tense, focusing on the intriguing process of switching the subject and object positions. Before we start flipping sentences around, let's take a quick refresher on what passive voice is. It's a way to construct sentences where the object of an action becomes the subject of the sentence. This voice is used when the doer of the action is less important than the action itself or the receiver of the action. For example, the book was being read by Mary, passive voice, instead of Mary was reading the book, active voice. Let's take a moment to review the past continuous tense. This tense describes actions that were in progress at a specific moment in the past. We form it using was, were plus verb ing. For example, the dog was barking. Now comes the real fun. Changing active voice to passive voice in past continuous tense. The core idea here is switching the subject and object positions. In an active sentence, we start with the subject, the doer, then the verb, and finally the object, the receiver. But in passive, the object of the active sentence becomes the subject of the passive sentence. For example, active, the cat was chasing the mouse. Passive, the mouse was being chased by the cat. Let's break this down. 1. Identify the subject, verb, and object in the active sentence. 2. Switch the object, mouse, to the subject position in the passive sentence. 3. Use, was, were, according to the new subject, add, being, and then add the past participle of the main verb, chased. 4. End with, by, and the original subject, cat. Let's practice our understanding with some examples. Active, the teacher was grading the tests. Passive, the tests were being graded by the teacher. Active, the children were decorating the house. Passive, the house was being decorated by the children. Practice with your own sentences and soon, you'll get the hang of it. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to switch the subject and object positions when changing active voice to passive voice in past continuous tense. Keep practicing and soon, turning sentences around will be second nature to you. Thank you for joining us today. Happy learning and until next time.